A warm good morning to all my dear students of Sri Gurglim Public School. This is Nida Ma'am with you and I welcome you all heartily to my English online class. How are my darlings doing? I hope you are all keeping fine. Stay home, stay safe. So my dear children, we were speaking about uh, the relationship between Kushwan Singh and his grandmother. We said in the childhood they carried a very cordial and very intimate kind of a relationship. The grandmother took care of Kushwan Singh as a child. And once he was into his, uh, what do you say, his primary classes, he was taken into the city and from there uh, up till his middle ages or middle classes, he was studying over there. Grandmother had a problem with him studying uh, scientific languages like science and English and also in learning music. So there started a distance or a rift between uh, their relation. Now let us see what happens uh, while he is in his teenage. So what happens is that when he went to the university, university in the sense over here, like for his plus one, plus two classes, okay, pre-degree classes, he was given a room of his own. Of course, he has, he is growing up to be an adult. So to respect his independency and privacy, he was given a separate room and that uh, caused a great distance between the grandmother and the child okay now he is grown up to to be an adult so then the grandmother did not first or complain about it she just uh, reduced into her uh, solution solution meaning loneliness now she started accepting her loneliness her life without a grandchild and uh, she would spend a lot of her time uh, during the morning hours uh, spinning, okay, doing a lot of what you say, an embroidery work and thread work and tailoring work, all that kind, and then reciting prayers also. In the afternoon, uh, she had some time to rest and during that time, uh, she used to feed the sparrows okay so here again her connection with nature connection with other living beings on the on earth is, is shown so earlier she used to feed the dogs now she is feeding the sparrows so that shows that what kind of a generous and a compassionate kind of lady the grandmother was so it is told that uh, a lot of birds used to come and sit on her shoulders and legs and other parts of her body but uh, you know she smiled she accepted them and she was very much enjoying being with those birds okay so that connection was there between the grandmother and the birds then what happened then comes the next stage of his life when he is grown up to be a full adult and now he is going to abroad for his further studies and by this time the grandmother was really old and uh, this graduation process was for five years and being at the age that grandmother was uh, definitely Kushwan Singh was not very sure that when he returned he would be able to see his grandmother alive not that he wanted to see her dead it is just that of her age one could never be sure that grandmother would live for many more years okay so uh, even grandmother would have also understood that you know by the time you know after five years maybe she also had predicted that uh, she won't be alive you know for, for many more years however uh, she never showed any kind of drama or very over emotion at the time of their separation that is while sending him away to the uh, foreign countries for studying she just kissed on her uh, forehead and you know she let him go but after five years when he came back home grandmother was very much alive there to welcome him and she looked exactly the same okay how he had left her five years ago exactly the same she was there okay uh, her behavior was the same her looks were the same only thing is that he had grown up to be a even more you know older adult but grandmother remained the same and um, 
unlike uh, the very you know gentle very passive kind of person that she had been all throughout her life the evening that he came she was behaving in a very excited and a enthusiastic manner she did not pray so this was the first time probably in his 25 years of his life he would have seen a day without grandmother praying so grandmother did not pray instead she collected some women from the neighborhood and started singing uh, very high energetic warrior songs you know that highly enthusiastic kind of songs by beating the drums that kind of pomp and show was there uh in the house and everybody was very worried seeing her uh, you know a very different kind of a behavior and of course maybe because of this over enthusiasm and over straining the next day morning she was very ill she had a mild uh, fever and the doctor who checked her said that you know she, her fever would get reduced and she would be okay but suddenly grandmother said that no her time was up and she was about to die within few days or few hours of course they th they thought that grandmother is just telling all these things because of her fever but unlike how they thought or what the doctor said uh, she just passed away peacefully by reading her you know by chanting her prayers and moving her beads in the hand uh, her lips stopped moving and she fell lifeless and as peaceful as she had been all through her life uh, that peacefulness was seen in her death also uh, as per the custom the rituals the uh, the mourning for her was done the funeral arrangements were done and in the evening she was cremated by early evening Uh, they noticed that all the sparrows whom she used to feed they were there in the veranda but as you know they could have sensed sensed it uh, even even though the sparrows cannot speak it it appeared that the sparrows could also sense that uh, their very very intimate friend had passed away and they were also in sorrow they were keeping silent even though his mother had given food to those sparrows by giving them crumbs of bread the sparrows did not eat even you know they did not go and peck any of the bread pieces and they just waited there till grandmother's corpse was taken away for cremation and once she was cremated the sparrows flew away in silence and they never returned and the next day morning the sweeper swept away the bread crumbs into the dustbin so that's about the uh, story it shows the kind of a person that grandmother was her humbleness her peacefulness and the kind of a relationship that uh, she had shared with the other family members and especially with kushwant singh so with this we conclude this lesson so with this i'm concluding today's class thank you attempt your review question and download your notes and file them thank you